Hey friends, welcome back. I am gonna be decorating my front porch for spring. I recently ordered the Red Shed metal porch bench and two chairs from Tractor Supply. They are in a Windsor style, so of course that's right up my alley. I want to go to the antique store today and just do a little looking around and see if there's anything there that would work for porch decor. I also want to go to Home Depot and look at their flowers and maybe get some to go ahead and decorate out on the porch. Even though it is a little bit early still, we could possibly have at least one more freeze before spring is officially here. But hopefully, We've got the last freeze behind us and I won't have to worry about that anymore. I love these little crocs like this. I actually have one that looks just like this at home. It would work as a planter. This would be adorable on a porch with some flowers in it. How cute is this little blue birdhouse? Oh my goodness. And the little red one, I just love it. Now I have had my eye on this croc for a while now and it is on sale for a really good price today. I keep looking at this little milking stool every time I come in too and it is not on sale today, but it just might come home with me anyway. I need to get some of this potting soil to repot my little African violet. It has been struggling lately. I've had it for about four years now, so I'm gonna try to give it some new dirt and see if it'll revive. don't have a lot of flowers out yet, but I think there's enough here that I can get some to get started. Hey friends, I am back to show you my flower and antique haul. It's been a few days since I made those shopping trips. We did have a little cold front come through and the weather got a little too cold for the plants and flowers outside. So they have been hanging out in the house for a little while, but I think they fared okay. And hopefully that was our Easter freeze and we're good to go now. So let me show you what all I got. Let's start with the antiques. I ended up getting this crock that I have had my eye on for months in there. Then I also got the milking stool and it looks really old, but it's also very sturdy. And so I think it would do pretty good as porch decor. These things would work either in the house or out here on the porch. And then of course I got this cute little red, weathered birdhouse. It is just so cute. For my plants and flowers, I got these two ferns and I think they will look good in my urns that I have here on the porch. And then I also got some purple lantana. I really like lantana. It grows really good for me. And then I did go ahead and get these three little boxwoods to replace the ones that didn't make it last year. And then I got this whole mix of little, um, what are these things called? I can't remember. What does it say? Well, this really doesn't say, but I believe these are called dianthus is what I think they are. And so anyway, they are an annual, so and I thought they would look really pretty in a container. I got some snapdragons. 
and then I got this pretty flower. It says it's a bush daisy. I was thinking it was a Shasta daisy, but anyway, it's some kind of daisy. And that will be a little pop of yellow. And then I got all these pretty annuals. Um, I want to say they are petunias and uh, I'm not sure about the name of the other ones that are in there, but it's going to look really pretty. And then I have an asparagus fern here and a red geranium. And then I also got these. They still have the plastic on them, but I think they will look really cute out here like a wood and metal little barrel. I got two of those. And then I got a bunch of potting soil. get the plastic off of these new containers and start filling them with flowers. Actually gonna try to separate this asparagus fern so that I can put it into more than one arrangement. It was really pretty tough to get the roots broke apart. I have it separated down one side and I'm trying not to get the dirt all over the porch. So I decided to take it over to the edge of the porch so I could be a little bit rougher with it and get it broke apart and have the dirt over on the ground instead of all over the porch. going to separate these petunias in half so that I can put some in each of these two containers.
to see if the container that the geranium is in will just sit right inside this crock and that way I won't have to repot it because I really don't want to fill my crock full of dirt. I think that's going to work well. one more piece of the asparagus fern that I broke apart that I'm not sure where I'm going to plant it yet so I'm just going to put it back in one of the other flower containers. It's getting dark now and the girls and I are ready to call it a day, so we'll just have to finish this project up tomorrow. Okay, I am ready to get all these flowers planted and get this porch decorated. The wind is blowing like crazy today, so Bear with me, but we are going to get it done.
This birdhouse was made by my son, Luke, when he was about 10 years old with the help of his dad. And so it is just very special to me. We've had it for a long time. He is almost 27 years old now. We had it on a post for years, but then the squirrels took it over. the other piece of asparagus fern. I've decided I'm going to plant it along with the yellow bush daisy in this enamelware bucket. borrowed this bench from the upstairs bedroom. Just like the way I decorate inside the house, I'm gonna decorate the same outside the house. A little touch of rustic to go along with the colonial looking furniture. It is the next day and I am so happy to be able to say the wind has calmed down. <laughs> so I just had to come back out and get some better video of the porch while the flowers aren't all blowing around like crazy and you can actually maybe hear the birds even singing in the background.
my poor little African violet. I am hoping this new soil and some sunshine will do it some good. I just want to thank you all for joining me on this video. I hope you enjoyed it and can take away some ideas for decorating your porch for spring and I will see you all in the next video.